All right, it is uh, seven fifteen, so we get this uh, getting started. Uh, thank you all for bearing with me uh, to get this rescheduled. This is the uh, the hearing that was originally scheduled for last week. Um, that is post that was postponed to this week. So we finally got it uh, on the clerk's calendar, and it was already posted in the newspaper. So we uh, we we are good to go. I I, I showed up last week by myself and continued it. Uh, no nobody showed up. Um, to, uh, for the proceedings, but uh, it was officially continued last week. So this is um, a, the request by Molly Keegan for a variance from the provisions of section 7.6.7 .7 of the Hadley Zoning Bylaw for 104 Middle Street, uh, Assessor's Map 41, Parcel 49. Um, it's a it's, uh, business zone. Uh, the applicant proposes to install exterior lit signage. Uh, hi, Molly. Um, Andrew. You want to just tell us a little bit about uh, about what you're trying to do here? Um, sure. So um, we have a financial advisory practice. Um, we have been located in Northampton for quite a while, and we just recently moved to 104 Middle Street in Hadley. And um, we would like to install, um, as you said, exterior lit signage um, it met the dimensions we went in front of the planning board. Um, so the sign itself, they didn't have any issue with, but as you are well aware, there's a um, setback rule. <clears throat> so my understanding is that the property line technically starts at the sidewalk. Um, so if we were to put the signage, uh, I believe it's 20 feet back from the property line, you know, basically the sign would be kind of like on our, on our front steps. So um, what we're looking to do is merely install the signage um, uh, proximate to the sidewalk, but it would be in the, you know, the grassy area between the sidewalk and the front steps to the property. So um, it would look more appropriate for the, for the property. So the sidewalk is actually the property line uh, for that property? That's what I was told by um, Randy Iser did the original drawing for us when we went in front of the planning board and he said, yep, yeah, that we should um, start that count back from the from the sidewalk. And so the the standard rule is 20 feet from the property line and um, what what are you trying to how far are you trying to would you like to put it. Um, it probably won't be centered. Um, exactly between so it would be on the south side of the front walkway um, and that was based on the recommendation from the electrician um, where they want to put the trench in to, to dig the electrical out so they thought it would be um, on the south side of the front walkway um, and it would probably be just a, a few feet if you will off of the sidewalk so it won't be exactly centered between the sidewalk and the front steps it'll probably be a little bit closer to the sidewalk, but again, um, you know, not right on top of it. <clears throat> how, how, big, how big is the sign? Oh, uh, let's see, I've got the dimensions here. I think it's 30, let's see. Uh, 33.8 inches high by 48 inches wide. And I'm ha I have um, images of it if you, you'd like, I'm happy to bring that up. How many feet from the sidewalk are you planning on, or would you like to put the sign? How many feet from the sidewalk? Um, I would say, you know, a, a few feet off of it, Linda. Um, one of the challenges we have is that the sign is being manufactured right now. So it would have been nice if we could have had it. So we could have, you know, kind of done the visual and said, okay, this is the perfect spot for it. Um, but I, I'm imagining it's gonna be anywhere from like two to three feet away from the sidewalk. The planning, the planning board gets involved. The planning board is involved with uh, like the design of the sign and like the, the mm -hmm. dimensions. Like that's all done through the planning board, right? Correct. Yeah. So everything's been approved by the planning board. It met the um, requirements for uh, the, the signage um, bylaw. 
And so it's really just the setback issue that is in front of, of ZBA. Typically we, we need a number, how many feet from the sidewalk, not, you know, an estimate is not as good as an actual, it's gonna be seven feet or five feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, we can pick a number if it's three feet. Are there, are there any other similar signs uh, on Middle Street? So um, I believe that, so, so right next to us on the south side, we have, um, is, is the residential area. So um, we're commercially zoned, we're dual zoned. So it had been a primary residence for quite a while, but prior to that, it was a doctor's office for years from what I understand. Um, so we have the dual zoning. And then of course, we're next to the congregational church. And then you've, it's interesting, so you've got the town property. So the town, has a sign when you go on the other side of, um, you know, continue north on Route 47, you've got signage for the Goodwin Memorial Library and then the new Hadley Library and Senior Center. But their signs, you know, that's all town property, whereas we've got that tree built in front of us, which is town property, which is why ours has to be up on the lawn. Um, and then I think on the other side of it, Andrew, uh, there's that Boku, um, you know, what used to be the Thayer Adult Daycare. Mm. So both who has a sign, um, well, I mean, Dunkin' Donuts, of course, has, a, you know, signs on the corner. Um, then uh, Vakulas, they've got that Hadley framing. And I think their, their sign is actually pretty big, um, you know, bigger certainly than what we're introducing. Is this, how is this uh, sign being lit? <laughs> It's externally lit in accordance with the with the um, bylaw. When you say externally, just help me understand. Is there a, a spotlight shining on it, or? Uh, yeah, so they'll they'll put an electrical conduit in the in the ground, Linda, from what I understand, and then there'll be a, a light that shines up to illuminate it. So it's not. I know there are two different ways to qualify for the externally lit. Um, so the the lettering itself will not. Um, have any sort of lighting uh, around it or behind it. So no um, light, no light emitting, just a spotlight on the sign. Correct. Yeah. I mean, because we're in, you know, an historic area. So we want the signs going to have the look and feel of being a, um, you know, a, a carved wood sign, um, that, that sort of an appearance. You know, but obviously we'll be using some sort of, um, they're, they're using a composite material just to make sure it, it lasts and it doesn't rot in the elements. Sounds nicer than Dunkin' Donuts. It's much nicer than Dunkin' Donuts and it's a better color scheme too. <laughs> um, yeah. and, and again, I have images if it, if it would be helpful for you to see. Do you, do you have any images of like a mock-up of like the, the house with the sign? Yeah, well, we do. I mean, <laughs> oh, admittedly, I, um, we asked the sign manufacturer, um, it's a gentleman named Jean-Luc, uh, if he could produce something because we needed that as a requirement to go in front of the planning board. Um, where he put the sign, I'm going to ask you to use a little bit of imagination because it looks like it's like in the middle of a bunch of bushes, but um <laughs> But if you, uh, if I have the ability to share, I'm happy to pull that up. Okay, so this, I, I will uh, assure you, this is not where the sign will be placed. <laughs> so, um, the intent would be, again, to put it on the south side, and it would be, if you can follow, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but it would be like from, whoop, from like here to here. Okay. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. That would be roughly... Is, uh, is there a reason, uh, I'm curious, about why the sign can't be moved to the south side in the same 
relative location. It looks like it's only about a foot away from the sidewalk. Yeah, like I said, we asked um, the, the gentleman who's manufacturing the sign to do a, a mock-up for us so we could go in front of the planning board because their, their primary objective, of course, was to make sure that the dimensions and everything met the bylaw. Mm -hmm. um, so he used Photoshop and he admitted that he was not um, very adept at it. And so this is the mock-up placed over here. So this is the mock-up. This is not the realistic actual photo. Correct. Correct. Yep. Okay. So this this That's sign okay. itself. It's going to be on the other side of the sidewalk. It's going to be on the south on the south side of the sidewalk. Right. It's going to be right over here. Got it. Mm -hmm. Is the sign uh is it, is the sign going to be fa uh, facing the road or is it uh, parallel to the walkway there? It'll be parallel to the walkway. Um, and I think I may have another. And it will be two sided. Yeah, and actually, Linda, now that I'm looking at it, I think three feet is probably uh, closer than I would. Yeah, that would that would be putting that right around here. So more likely, it's going to be four four feet away from that um, sidewalk. Are those bushes? Are the will those bushes remain there? It's going to be literally on the other side of those bushes. Yeah, we just had um, Dan Zomick came in and just um, kind of really cleaned up a lot of this overgrown uh, uh, mature landscaping that's on the property. So um, he's cut these back significantly, but yes, it would, the intent would be to keep, you know, some level of landscaping in the front and the side would be placed right behind it. And again, it would be on this side, the south side over here. Have, um, have any of the, have any of the neighbors, have you talked with any of the neighbors? Uh, there's obviously none, none of the neighbors are here, but, and we, mm -hmm. have, I don't, we haven't received any uh, communications from any neighbors, but ha have you talked with any of the neighbors or have you heard any concerns from any of the neighbors? Um, no, I talked to, um, there's a couple that lives right next door. So after we had moved in, um, I happened to catch uh, the gentleman out, he was getting his mail. So I walked over and introduced myself and made, made them aware of who we were. And he said he had already heard um, who had bought the property. And I did mention to him that he was going to be getting, you know, a, a mailing because we were going to, um, you know, looking to put up a sign. And if they had any concerns about lighting or anything like that, by all means to, to speak with us, you know, um, but that it was going to be pretty uh, low key, if you will. I mean, it's a, it's a business that runs, you know, primarily during daytime hours, you know, 830 to five. Sometimes we have you know, clients that might stay a little bit later. Um, I mentioned that on occasion, we might have an event of some kind out in the backyard where we put up a tent, but they would be few and far between. Um, so it was a very cordial conversation, but he didn't, he didn't say anything about having any concerns. And then the property, um, well, I mean, obviously you can see the neighbor on the other side is the congregational church. Um, nobody from there has expressed any concern. And then the neighbor's direct, directly across the street, um, their property actually just went on the market. Um, it's a company called Innovara. So that's also a commercial, um, dual commercial and residential zone property. Um. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I, I don't have any uh, partic particular problem with it. Um, I, uh, so the, the, pl is the plan, the planning board is like, is, is typically in charge of all like the signage issues. Mm -hmm. So uh, like the, is the, does the planning board talk with you already about like the hours that the sign is lit and like all that type of stuff? That's all, is that all part of like, I don't know if you have a site. I don't think you may necessarily have a site plan. Do you have a site plan approval? Um, they actually, uh, when we originally went back to the planning board, I think in August 
Um, and at that point, um, we actually needed to go in front of the planning board just to convert the property back to commercial because it had been residential for so long. So we went in front of them for that purpose. And then they did a, a waiver of the um, site plan approval you know, relative to parking and all of that. They, they looked at all of that. They said it was fine. Okay. And then we came back to them at, for an administrative hearing on the sign itself. And again, they approved that and um, said that it was really strictly a setback requirement that would need the ZBA's approval in order to place the sign where we wanted it placed. How long um, will, the, will the lights be on the sign? From when, um, from when yeah, to well, when? What we're thinking about doing is putting it on a uh, timer so that we don't have to deal with, you know, manually turning them on and off. So, I mean, to be honest with you, we're, we're very flexible on that. I would imagine that we would want it lit. Um, personally, I'm not a, a fan of the whole daylight savings thing, but, um, you know, we would want it in the times of year when we have clients who may have a four o'clock in the afternoon appointment, you know, when they're leaving the building, it can be dark outside. So um, I would imagine we would want to keep the signage on into, you know, say the early evening hours, but then have it shut off after that. And if you have any suggestions in that regard, we're, we're open to that. I mean, we're, um, we're certainly not wanting it to be on, you know, from one to three in the morning, there's no point. There is a, um a curfew, I guess, or a deadline for signs being lit. And I was just trying to find it in the, in the uh, bylaw. Mm -hmm. I think it's 10 p.m., which would be more than generous. But Yeah, I, I, would, I, I agree. I would think that would be more than generous. Yeah, you know, so we would probably keep it on until, I'm guessing, maybe 7 or 8 o'clock and then have it automatically shut off. Jason, you have any questions? No. no, everything's pretty straightforward. I don't have any more questions either. Okay, so I guess my, my only question is, and again, I, I apologize just because the sign's taken longer to, to manufacture um, than we anticipated for a lot of the same reasons that everybody's facing with um, materials not being available. So, you know, um, Linda, you said that you would want an exact measurement from the sidewalk as to where it was gonna be, be placed. Um, would the committee be comfortable giving us just maybe like a one or two foot leeway? Um, you know, I think, I mean, would, would like to not to, ex, not to encroach upon four feet or something like that be more amenable or something like that? Yeah, that would that would be great if that's okay with you. And you mentioned three feet. Is that um, acceptable to you? Is that workable for you if it's a three foot takeaway? Yeah, my only concern, Linda, is that as I was looking at this, um, again, now that that Dan's gone and cut back a lot of these hostas and the like. Oh, certain, certainly, um, if you're saying that, you no, know, we're not going to have it any closer than three feet to the sidewalk, that, that's great. Um, it just gives us a little bit of leeway, because I don't know right now exactly if the optimal placement will be four feet or four feet, six inches, or what it's going to be. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we, could, uh, we could write it up in a way that would say, um, you know that would that would say it can encroach you know uh as close more as more than feet, yeah, yeah as close as three feet or something like that just to make uh because like obviously if you know if we give you up to three feet and if you if it's five feet off you know that's that's yeah less. just by like my contractors i looking at that photo that bush there on that south side of the sidewalk is probably about three and a half feet from the blacktop sidewalk anyway so mm -hmm. so three and a half to four feet yeah, because then we're just giving permission to, you know, encroach in that up area to. up up to and up to three and a half to three feet away or whatever. Yeah. Uh, 
I think three would be good. Three. Okay. Thank you. That that'll be appreciated. Yeah, because typically, I mean, we have to have to have a, a number for what exact setback you're asking for, or what variance from that setback you're asking for. So three feet. Yeah, three so feet we'll, from the property line, I would say, not yeah, the sidewalk, we'll, because yeah, yeah. So we'll write it up as three feet, and then I'll put some wording in there, uh, you know, something to get the, get the gist of it that you know up to three feet or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, uh, Jason or Linda, you want to do a motion? Go ahead, Jason. Linda, I was just going to say, go ahead. I don't have the verbiage here in front of me, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, I move that we uh, approve the variance requested by Molly Keegan to allow a, a exterior lit signage. Um, three, no, well, how do you word that? No um, further encroachment than three feet from the property line. Second. Does that work it? Okay. Um, Very good. Do, uh, so then Jason, your vote? Uh, yes. Linda? Yes. I'm a yes. So the motion passes. Uh, variance granted. Um, I'll, I'll write that up. Uh, and try to get it into the um, to the clerk's office this week. Uh, I got a couple other uh, <clears throat> couple other opinions that I need to get into, but I'll try to get the, I'll try to get that in quickly, and then then you'll be ready to go when the sign comes in. Okay, that's great. All right, I appreciate everybody's help. All right, thank congratulations, you. lovely house. Yeah, thank you. It's a nice place. <laughs> All right, take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. Are we done? Yep, that's it for tonight. So we will um, um, no other no other issues on the agenda. We will bring the meeting to a close and uh, and adjourn.